Oh look, my menu's changed colour and my cursor's changed to the uh, the liquid that we're working with. What's it called? Something with K? I think it was being with K. Kamats, that's it. So yeah, the name of the chapter is the name of this particular Nikud. Um And I assume like, yeah, we definitely saw in the intro there were like two others. So maybe we'll have chapters for them. But maybe there's more, I don't know. I mean, there's there's more vowel sounds than three, kind of. Like, I mean, it depends on the language. But like, obviously... In English, there's like five vowel letters and each of those has many sounds. So I'm wondering how many different combinations there are. But then maybe, is there a, cause like we've been dealing with directionality of the, how they're combined. Is there some meaning to that in the written language? Like does it, does the direction of the letter affect how it's said or something like that? <clears throat> I don't know how much to take from this as being like, that's that's how the language works versus just like making a circle band game out of it. Uh, also, I quite like how the the grid deforms here, like the level layouts deforms around where you're currently highlighting. It's nice. It's a nice effect. I guess we're going here. Oh, okay. I've also just noticed that this, that the pie one up here has more uh, spikes. Presumably there's an animal there. Okay, yes. Okay. That's why I'll be having a conversation. Just like in the previous world. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Um, <clears throat> so, you are paired there. You could move out there if... Uh, mm, no, you're not moving out there, right? Because I'd have to push you with a um, an LF here. But then to do that, I'd have to bring those out. And that's just not happening. Once things connect up here, those are going to be stuck. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Doesn't matter how I connect to them, they're gonna be stuck. So, what's the issue? Why am I not just doing this? Ah, because that blocks them away from me, okay. Understood. So, what way could work? I guess like diagonal like this and like this, and I could walk in and step on both of those. Okay, that sounds reasonable to me. So why don't I do this? And then somehow do the same. Ah, ah, ah. Like maybe I should have brought you across first. I can obviously make you the right angle. I just don't think I can get you where I needed to be. I have to get you across there. Without ever stepping on that. And nudging you with the other one wouldn't help. Because it would only push you to there. I wouldn't be able to get you out still. Okay, so my... I think my main question is how do I get a um, top right facing thingy facing, yeah, facing top right and then on this side and then connect it to, to that one. Because I can't, if it's facing that direction, I can't bring it here and then put it there. Can I? Unless there's some way of doing that. I don't think there would be because then we'd just connect to that unless that were already connected to, but it wouldn't be. Oh wait, we could do this the other way round. Ooh. What if we're doing... Aha! Is that the trick? Hold on, hold on. Are you there? Wait, how does that help that we're doing it the other way round? Either way, I'd have to get one there. But I could push the other one in from the left. What if we put you there? I can't get this back though without it rotating. Or can I? I can. I can get you back without it rotating. Put you there. Then I can sort this one out. I think I'm done. Neat. Thank you go that way. Connect to there. Then I can walk around on that side. Very cool. Very cool. <clears> hmm. <throat> Peter. So you're on top of an LF already. You're stuck in the top right. You're stuck, stuck in the bottom left. You're facing in a direction that isn't great for anybody. You're against this wall. This little layout up here suggests, you know, using the space to come around and push something down maybe. <clears throat> right now we've got this only. It's pretty free though. I mean, kind of. 
Like the fact that it's on top of that isn't an issue. I can't push it up without making a sound. Is that an issue? I don't know. I can lift that LF with that, which is almost certainly what I'm gonna have to do, right? Because to like do anything with the other LF, I'd have to bring this up here and I, I can't push it with that. So I'm gonna be pushing that one around. There are a few ways to do that. I could push it right like this. I can't really push it down, or can I? I can push it down if I do. If I push it left first. Which might be part of what I want to do. Because then I can make that go that angle. I'd still need some way of getting this out. However, I can now hook this under here and bring this up. This is an interesting approach. So wait, now I can, can I use this to get that away from there? Probably. Maybe I'm okay with making a sound right now. Uh, ooh. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> so far I haven't really been going by like, what do I think needs to happen? I've just been doing what's, what's possible. Just like there's been an interesting thing to try out. But I could see this being the route there. Because those were already paired, right? So in order to move you at all, I'm going to have to have something like this layout. It could be that you're supposed to be pointing upwards instead of diagonal. But it could also be that I'm using... Oh, I could drag you away from the wall quite easily, right? Um, using this. Uh, up here. I'm just gonna assume that making a noise right now. I say quite easily. Uh, I guess if I lift you up a bit further. Yes. Okay. That feels good. Uh, sure. Why did I want to do that? To bring that away from that wall. Why do I want to bring that away from that wall? Why don't I just want to push it right? Isn't that much easier? Instead of pushing it left? Hold on. <laughs> because I can't push it right like that at least. If you were vertical, I could have done. Let's just keep going with what I was doing, even if I don't really know why I'm doing it. Ah, oh, that'll never bring that down, right? That can't be good. Yeah, that doesn't feel useful. I think I do just want to push you right. The problem is moving you right. Oh, no, I could do it. I could put this, okay. Put this up in this space. Put that like that. Push this whole thing right. Yay, very cool. Very cool. <clears throat> Down here we go. Okay, well, you have to connect diagonally to the top left. Um, Hmm, to one of these three. I need to make sure I don't forget that rule about the like the rickety sounds when they when they can't join. Ooh. Okay, so that is joining both of them. Because I make it it joins, I make a sound, and then that spins. Um hmm. <clears throat> Okay, so this Aleph is never coming away from the, the top wall, except by being attached to something, but that's that's not useful because I'm thinking about like, how do I get an Aleph here? So I don't want you to be attached to something that's never coming away from the top wall. So it's either this one or this one, the bottom one or the middle one that's coming to here. Obviously the middle one has less of a journey to make to get there. Um, does that imply that that's the one going there. These are the kind of puzzles where, I mean, not all of them, some, some of them, some of them like the, all the constraints are quite apparent quite quickly. And then some of them are like this, where it's just like a space with like three Alephs in it. And <laughs> these two things, it's like not quite clear, like 
I've got to like mess around with it first before I can understand exactly what I what my issues are even going to be. Um, so obviously I could connect you to that, so that I've just got one stuck at the top. And at some point, I am going to want to make a noise here or here. Probably not there because then there's a an Aleph there. But potentially I could bring that back out if it were diagonal like that. Hmm. I mean, this clearly isn't good because sure I can make that diagonal, but then how am I getting that other Aleph? I mean, so it's also possible that you're connecting to that and I'm making that 45 degrees by making sound there, but then you've joined to that. Is that the only issue here? Maybe that's the only issue. So I can avoid those pairing by doing that. That is a 45 degree angle. I don't think I want it though, do I? If I want to nudge this along, I need to get another Aleph to the left of it. Let's push it all the way there, which would require something I can't do. Or like a leftwards connection. Put the Nikud on there. Push right. That would work. Vertical wouldn't work. Uh, vertically down would work, but then you're not facing that direction and you won't ever be. Well, if we don't put you in the corner yet, so we've still got the ability to decide which way this is pointing. I don't think I want to connect to you, at least if I do connect to you, it needs to be like downwards in some direction, like either downwards directly or down left or down right so that I can lift this up. But I don't think I'd be able to do that, right? Because this is up here. This is the only one I can make a sound with right now. What do I want here? Can I put you at a more awkward angle? I guess that's an okay angle, it's not that awkward, but... Or that. Mm, let's do this turn again. That's an awkward angle, but then I can't re-angle you. Oh, but I can do that, but that doesn't help me bring this up in any way. <clears throat> Whoa, where do I begin with this? Push you left, push you this, no, this way. Actually, maybe what I just did actually. You pair to that, then you could be used to nudge this one along. Wait, is it that simple? It is that simple, isn't it? If I can hit, ooh, so leave you there, make you face the right direction, and it, that's done, right? Okay. <laughs> that was an interesting one. I don't think I quite, yeah, I never got to the point where I understood what exactly what I was trying to deal with. I just kind of made my way there, sure. All right. <clears throat> So, you are here, you are freeable in theory if I push that LF rightwards. You are down there, you are not freeable, so at some point a downwards... What's the name of the actual specific symbol in this case? It was ka ka something? Ka... 
Kamats. The Kamats needs to face down or down left to be here or here. Burp, burp. So if we can just push one there, that'll be it. Done. And down left is like easy enough. Just put it there. But then if I try and get you down there, we have a problem. Wait, that's not true, is it? Uh, it is true. I can make you face down easily and just put you there and push you down. That's connected. And then presumably there's some issue with getting these connected. When was the last time I made a sound? When I pressed down there. Can I put you somewhere else? Have I just done? I've got you facing down right. You going there. Have I just done it? I think I've just done it. No, I haven't done it because that's now stuck. Oh, okay, so that tells me it does need to be a down left one. Okay. Okay. Of course. I need to be able to get to my goal. Anytime I do a puzzle where like solving the puzzle blocks off the goal, I'm reminded of that one puzzle in the first area of Steven's Sausage Roll. Um, it has like three sausages in it. And like three like seemingly separate grills on which to cook the sausages and then but the yeah the catch is that as soon as you have cooked them in the simplest possible way you cannot get back to the exit um okay so what this implies is at some point a down left facing uh kamats is going to end up here well, here eventually, but it's not going to get here from here, it's going to get here from there, so here. Which could come from, in fact has to come from here. So there's going to be a down left facing Kemats here. <clears throat> so this makes one, this puts it there. However, okay, that's interesting. Well, so it doesn't necessarily have to be down left facing here if I can make it down left, down left facing when it's over in this position somehow. But I wouldn't be able to do that here. To do that here, I'd have to have it like an Aleph here to stand on, which is possibly doable, actually. Kamats here, Aleph here, make you turn to the bottom left, push that down, stand there. <clears throat> Doing that would require <clears throat> um, these to be attached in a way that they can't be. Well, they can be, but I can't bring that back down. Unless I can somehow move you, but I couldn't I can't currently move an elf, so no. I also cannot currently Okay, so it's, I'm quite limited in what I can do at the start, right? Um Because I, I like this one's already stuck, and I can't move it. In order to move it, I'd have to have another left. This one I'm clearly connecting to with a down left one here, which I can't sort out because I have to do something else first. So I'm connecting to this one first. I need to figure out exactly how I want to be connecting to that. Now the problem is it can't be. Um, I mean, there's so, only so many directions we could even do it in. Like, not this direction, because I can't put that up there. Um, not that direction, because then it'll be stuck. Not this direction, because then it'll be stuck. So it has to be a rightwards one, right? It has to be this. I think this is the only direction that makes any sense. Does that somehow help me get you facing the way I need you to be facing? Possibly. So that is the way I need to be facing. Can I like... Oh yeah, because I can sh... No, that won't sh shove them. Yeah, it's like there's two grids laid on top of each other. <laughs> One for the... Uh, Alephs. One for the Nikuds. 
Okay, so ha oh, okay. So I'm, I think I might be right about combining that on the left. It's just what do I do with that next? I need a down left facing one here, and somehow it has to go to the right. How is that going to happen? Well, so the other thing is that this can get pushed on like this. Is that useful somehow? They're facing each other. That doesn't seem useful. Down left facing. It's not going to happen here. It could happen here. Like we could do that same situation, but then you're stuck. Oh gosh. Like these are now. Well, you're now stuck there. So that's never going to be good. So I need some way. Of, I think I need some way of pushing you right from the space that you're currently in while facing down left. Like you are now. Which would mean. Oh, no, no, no. Different idea. Put you there. Push all of these along to the right. There we go. Nice. Uh, that's not it. <laughs> We're not done. <laughs> We're still blocked out. No. No. Wait, I thought that was a great idea. It sounded like a great idea. It wasn't a great idea. Yeah, I'm never going back to that now, am I? No. I was about to say, I knew there was a reason this is like pushable to the right. But apparently maybe not that reason. Hmm. Oh, this looks like such a good idea. It's like you're moving, you're swapping between one grid and another. Like I'm pushing this, which is attached to that, so that's converting from uh, the, um, the Nikud field to the Aleph field. It's like, it's like the electromagnetic field and how they interact with electrons and such and charge in whatever field. <laughs> Boson field? That's the one with matter in it, right? <laughs> I don't know anything. Um, but yeah, it's, this is reminding me of that kind of aspect of how physics works. Like you've got like two overlapping fields and they can interact with each other in some way and transfer energy between each other. And then they can interact within the field um, in a fairly um, reasonable way. And then it can also interact back the other way. Yes, like moving electrons in a wire can cause an uh, uh, electromagnetic wave and then the electromagnetic wave can cause electrons to move in another wire and then you've got a radio. Um, okay, <laughs> we gotta solve this. We gotta solve this. <clears throat> so that doesn't work. I don't think it's even close to working because it just gets that thing stuck. So I, I never want to shove that to the right, right? Because then it'll be stuck. That's I think that's true actually. Unless I shove it all the way to the right and that's somehow okay. How would that ever be okay? Oh, if we're then doing a bottom left. Oh, that's sneaky. That's so sneaky. That's totally what we're doing. That's totally what we're doing. Like that. Oh, we swapped them over. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, Lambda. Hmm. <laughs> this game. Definitely getting into terrifying territory. It's turning into a horror game for sure. All the space up here, I'm going to be doing some horrendous things. These are all already coupled. You are like relatively free as long as I don't mind spinning things around. It can also be used to push that up. You are not really free at all. You are definitely not free at all. I have to pull you away with an Aleph. Or be behind you after having pushed you up, which I don't see how that would ever happen. Okay. 
And then what's going on in here? So you're stuck in this corner. Is this going to be about nudging you left? This one left to connect to that without having rotated you, possibly? Because you're going to have to connect. You're, ne you're never going up to that space point in that way. You're either going there and connecting upwards, or going there and, put and connecting to the top left. But I can never get around you to pull you out, right? So yeah, you have to be connecting upwards. Because I can't connect you to the top left, because that would require standing there, which is something I can't do. So upwards. All right. So therefore, I cannot make a sound. I'm going to have to push you left. Isn't that true? Uh, that is almost going to do it, except the... Oh, it's that out of there that's the issue. Which I can't, I can't actually fix that now. Uh, except maybe I can. Mm, but only if I make a sound, which I don't want to make. Like that has to face upwards. And there's no position I can stand in that could reorient it upwards. Oh, that's a weird one. No sounds. Again, what does that? If I ever lift that up, that cannot be pushed left. So, don't lift that up. But I can't do anything with this then, except lift that up. Or make a sound. Or move you there, I guess. What? Also, there's all this space. <laughs> There's all this space. Okay, let me know for certain that I cannot reorient this. I cannot go in and bring you out unless there's no one less there. There's there's no one less there. <laughs> like to bring you out, I have to either drag you or well, so dragging you is impossible because I can't get to those spaces. Or drag your Aleph, so you'd have to connect to like this Aleph, which is something I can do quite easily. But then to bring you out, there'd have to be an Aleph behind you or something. Oh, but it's possible I'm just pushing another one in there, right? And the, the top right, the top left facing one. Oh, that's true. So it doesn't have to be you that's connecting to that. The top left facing one close to that, which obviously can't be this or this, so it has to be this. Okay. Now it's top left facing, however it's not going to go in, is it? Well, it's going to rotate, oh, I can't even do that. put that one in the way. I'd kind of like to drag that one out, actually, away from that wall. It kind of feels like that's my gate right now. Though I don't see how I would do that. Or do I? No. Shuffle this stuff in the rare horrendous things are happening. <laughs> I could drag you down. Yeah, if I don't care about uh, the fact that I'm making sounds now, i actually drag you down like this. Eh? And maybe that's useful? That feels like it would be useful, right? Just shove this over, make it face that way, put you on there, but then the... Oh, it's the same problem, I can't go in! <laughs> Oh, I don't think there's any way of fixing that. So it can't be like that, right? If you're pointing up that direction. You're definitely not going there. So you'd have to be here facing that way, but then th those are just stuck. Unless I could drag you out somehow, I don't think I can. Okay. Okay. 
So back to the whole idea that there has to be one facing upwards here to connect to you. Otherwise, how would I ever step on this? I would not. I'd have to drag you rightwards. Which I can't do. Unless I was already in there. Could I have brought you in with me somehow and I'm like in here? Is that even a doable thing? I don't think that's a doable thing. That's not a doable thing. Uh, okay, so I think it does have to be an upwards facing one there. Maybe it doesn't have to be you still. Like, can I bring you out? I don't think I can. So I think it has to be you still. What? Okay, so to push you left, I'd have to stand on there and then push left, which I could do if I could get past these, which I cannot. Right? I'd have to make a sound. I'm trying to sneak past, but I can't. So then the other option is that I push you with one of these things. I can't do that either, because that wedge is like that. you like that you rotate which isn't good but if you go there then I'm, I have other problems like this is shaped as though yes I am dragging this back down out of there but then that means I'm making a sound because I can Ooh, hold on yeah, do I want you to join I'm just thinking, can I... I somehow... Hold on, hold on. Put you there. Use that to pull that away without making a sound still. This is neat. Okay, this one is all about not making a sound. I had the right idea at the beginning. Okay, I've brought you down. And that makes that space meaningful. And then I can I put these like this and push you? Yes. But now I'm just even more stuck. <laughs> How is this going to be a good thing? What's my plan here? Oh, is there some way I could just go in? What if I, oh yeah, of course there is. I could just walk in and push you there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's better. Uh, and now I can just connect and we're all good. Whoa. That was an elaborate setup just to make me sneak around without making any noise. Very cool. Very cool. All right, see you next time. Uh, and we shall attempt to finish this area maybe, but like some of these puzzles might be super difficult. We might have to start skipping some. We shall see. All right, see you then. Goodbye.